In a recent video I did, I tried for the first time this small paint set from Royal Land Nickel. The paint set is a small pan set. I painted a vase of flowers to see how the colors would work and how the new brush would work. One problem I identified was it did not name the paints the traditional names. I started out making a handmade tint chart so I could try to closely identify the paints as far as the traditional names go. I did samples of each separate pan. I often use this book here as a source. It had a lot of good information about picking and choosing paints. Let's see how many of these colors come up in this. This is the basic starter palette. By the way, you see this ATSM, these, these paints in the Royal Land Nickel are not rated by that particular standard, which is the American Society for Testing and Materials. So you can't tell if it's been tested or not to any particular standard, which I find disappointing. Okay, I'm ready to start the first one. This is Cadmium Yellow. It appears to be cadmium yellow. Okay, put that back in its proper container. This one here, it's not an orange. No, I don't think it's a gambage. This one's a guess. So we'll try. That color was Quiniac Gold. I'll write it down here. Quiniac, I guess. Gold. Here's Windsor Newton Raw Sienna. Maybe. Next one should be easy. I'm almost positive this one is orange. So, Windsor Newton orange. I'll let that dry, but I don't think there's going to be another color that's. It's just that the Windsor Newton one's a little more. Is a little more vibrant. So I will continue to go like this. And then uh, go through the first round and we'll let her dry. I have completed my matchup here. Over here, this, uh, the Royal Land Nickel ma matched each one of these small pans. The Windsor Newton pans, or if I didn't have the color in those pans, the Daler and Rowney uh, watercolor tubes. And this column over here is going to be the Royal Land Nickel, and th these are going to be the colors that I tried to match up with them. Here's a Royal Land Nickel. Here is the Windsor Newton. I forgot to mark that, but there's Windsor, Windsor and Newton Cotman China White. This is this one over here. This is your Cadmium Yellow in Windsor and Newton. This one was a real challenge here, C6. And that would have been here, which when you look at it, that looks like an orange. I would say that it, probably the closest it comes to is the Windsor Newton Raw Sienna. But this is still more orange, and that's a little more browny. C8 is pretty close match to Windsor Newton's Cadmium Orange. The Windsor Newton Cotman. Cadmium Red marries up with plate C09. C11 on the Royal Land Nickel was kind of a hard one to identify. I thought it was going to be, it's a little brighter red. I thought it would be Windsor Newton's Scarlet Lake, but 
you can even see here that it, that that's a little duller. So I went with Windsor Newton's Windsor Red, and that marries up pretty good. So if you if you know Windsor Newton colors, that's a very bright red. C11's this plate right here. Then C13 comes out pretty close to Windsor Newton's Alizarian Crimson. If you want to, if you want it translucent, you can also use Windsor Newton's Permanent Rose and thin it out. C18, I didn't see any Windsor Newton pan colors that matched on that. Actually, the Daylon Rowney didn't match either very as much as you'd think. I just used a tube of violet, just violet. C19 is just a dark purple. I use Windsor Newton's Purple Lake and it's too bright. Plate C22 is pretty much a direct match with Windsor Newton's Sap Green and uh, Dale and Rowney's Sap Green. No watercolor matches with this one. The only match I can come up with is my model paints, Tamiya, Olive green. Plate C27 is your standard Viridian. Pretty much a direct match. Pretty close to a Windsor Newton Ultramarine on plate C29. The Windsor Newton Cobalt Blue is a little stronger blue uh, than their plate C31. Plate C30, C36, I'm sorry, and I tried the Dalen Rowney primary blue and it's still a little brighter. Uh, I'm thinking in, maybe it's a Prussian blue which is one even darker yet. Plate C38 is pretty much a direct match for the much used Windsor Newton yellow okra. Plate C40 is not a direct match, it's not a burn number, it's, and it's a little darker or a little more brown than the burnt sienna. So that one you would probably, you would, I would use C40 if, uh, and if I wanted to go with the brown I'd have to darken it up with unfortunately an ivory black which is not a real good mixing color in my opinion. Those are the colors. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it somewhat informative. Thank you for watching.